G'day folks. Well, recently I had somebody asked me uh, what kind of measuring tools I have in my uh, inventory essentially and I've just gone through and cleaned up and just sorted out most of them. I know there are a couple, I think there's another dial vernier in one of the cars and there's um, a few other things floating around or bigger tools like large rulers and plate squares and other things like that but this is all the small stuff and the pre precision stuff. Uh, particularly machinists tools like uh, there's a number of uh, micrometers, verniers and so on. Not many cheap ones, there's a cheap analog vernier in that box and a cheap digital there uh, which does not like humidity. We basically basically threw it in the bin at work and uh, I cleaned it up and took it apart, cleaned it up and it behaves itself unless it's a really damp humid day and then it start, just starts giving errant readings but it's a 300 mil vernier so it is quite handy uh, when it behaves. Um, otherwise everything in here is pretty good name brand, Moore and Wright, um, Brown and Sharp, uh, Mitutoyo, you name it. It's even nice English made woodworkers square. I've got various calipers, or not calipers, uh, micrometers that I've picked up from other various sources, second hand sales, things like that. There's an old Moore and Wright. Very high end stuff. Unfortunately, the uh, screw is busted off this one, the thimble screw. So it's not a lot of use, but if you're careful with it, you can still use it. I really need to get a replacement for that one. That's the biggest one. That's a Mitsu Toyo 1 to 2. Whatever's in there is missing. I think that's a little gauge rod. These, these are ex-navy, they were thrown in a scrap bin by somebody at one point and a friend of mine was doing some contract work there and heard this tinkle tinkle of basically boxes of files and uh, tools being tipped into a scrap bin and obviously went over to investigate and found all this. Um, obviously they probably passed their service date for the uh, Australian Navy so no reason why you should throw them in the bin though, these things are generally good for a lifetime if you're careful. Um, yeah, so a lot of this stuff didn't really cost me anything. A lot of it's my grandfather's. He's no longer in a state where he can use any of it and opted to give it to me because I'm the only one in the family who knows how to use it and wishes to use it. Uh, and here's a complete more and right combination set and a couple more uh, calipers. There's very, everything for gauging essentially. There's uh, contour gauges, various feeler gauge sets. I've got about three of them now. That's a um, profile gauge. The little pins can be pushed up against things to create a profile that you can copy or trace out. Uh, that's a complete more and right combination set. There's more calipers in there. So yeah, that's an original Mitu Toyo Digimatic. Uh, I lost the battery cover for it, but it does work. I've just got a tiny dab of uh, silicon on either side holding that battery in. But again, that was a uh, that went for a swim in a CNC machine. Actually, it was left on the mill table. The guy closed the doors and ran a full cycle. And when the cycle ended, it didn't work because obviously these early ones aren't coolant proof. So yeah, I picked that one out of the rubbish bin, cleaned it up, dried it out, and it served me well for four or five years now without a hitch. <laughs> They're tough, I'll give them that much. This wouldn't survive, even though it says IP54. You pick the thing up or handle it with damp, coolant covered hands, it will not like you afterwards. It won't die, but it will give you weird readings, like it'll start reading one meter when it physically can't do it it'll start reading 854 centimeters instead of bloody whatever or 800 yeah it'll, it'll read 800 millimeters instead of um, well 0 to 300 and it just does it by just by chance like you'll move it a millimeter and it'll automatically jump 200 millimeters so cheap beware 
keep them dry if you've got a generic Chinese set around somewhere. It might be in one of the cars. That might be one of them. I don't know. There are some cheap, nasty ones which would be wouldn't go astray for making another little pencil holder, essentially. You can also use the let the tips to um, scrape a uh, a mark on a soft material, but you just wouldn't do it on steel for too long, so you wear them down. It's not so ideal. But for doing, uh, say, a cutout for a speaker box or something like that, there's nothing really wrong with um, just using the points of these just to scrape a line on the timber. I've done that plenty of times. As far as the oldest, I don't really know. That's probably the oldest that's made. It's a uh, W.M. Johnson Incorporated, made by made in Newark, New Jersey, USA. And it's just got that old look to it. <laughs> it's really old. It's probably one of the oldest in the drawer. And there's various rulers. You never have enough 5-inch rules. Cheap. That's a cheap one. There's some uh, Toledo's in there and other different kinds. I think there's a more and right. There's another profile gauge. Yeah, anyway, that's just a quick tour of the uh, measuring equipment. Oh, there's a plate, surface plate scriber as well. If you've got a surface table or something, you can place something flat against it and use this to scribe a line across it. Or um, you, could, you could use it as an indicator stand or anything like that, really. Run out, visual run out um, gauge or something like that. You can spin something and see the gap between the point and the object that's turning. Not so accurate. I do have a uh, magnetic base and a uh, proper dial indicator and everything for setting things up on the lathe. Uh, I think that's in one of those drawers there. The base isn't, but yeah. But like I said before, this is just small measuring tools. Bigger stuff lives in the cabinet up here. No, nope. it's in one of them. I think most of it's in there. Yeah, there's the uh, dial gauge and uh, there's a base and a few other things around. There's another. No, oh, it's all fallen down. There's another base. Indicator base. Anyway, things are a bit of a shamble, but they're getting better. Thanks for watching.